So we'd received a question about producing images for customers and things of that nature from our model. And so I wanted to uh, make a video walking through that. Here I've got a multicolor part. We've got a non-planar sweep award, which unironically is on non-planar sweeps. And we'll go to, uh, how about send to? And we'll select render. And this is where we would make things like images for customers. So I click the render button. And you can see down in the corner, we're sending data to Keyshot. There's our splash screen. And we've imported our part into Keyshot. Uh, from here, I can adjust my view. I'll close this for the time being, just in case that menu doesn't open up on your window. Actually, let's come up here to lighting. And of course, we have different lighting options. I also can change some things like shadow quality. Ooh, I do like that high shadow quality and then ray bounces. But I think more importantly is how we want to deal with the materials and the appearances of the product itself. So one thing that we can do is we can come over here to material and you'll see that in a Libre, I had assigned different colors to different faces and each color to each face is recognized down here. And so I can say, click on my, gold non-planar sweeps right here and I can choose something like I want them to look metallic or metallic paint. I'll come up here to metal and then I can choose a roughness right so right now they're quite smooth and if we increase the roughness then they're a bit less reflective. And so we can custom make our uh, own material settings through uh, this menu. However, it gets a bit easier if we go to something like Window, Library, Materials. And that pulls up our Materials Library. And we've got a few interesting things. First off, maybe I want this to be Metal. And I can choose Brass. And we can do Basic or Mesh. I'll take Brass Polished and stick it on here. And we have a polished brass image all of a sudden. And then I can do something like uh, precious and gold. And I can take something like gold, 24 karat brushed, right? And we can start adding materials that are preset to look very good. Now, my base, I've of course intended that to be wood. I think dark stained oak is somewhat what I was after. So, I, I yeah, I really like the uh, the wood grain texture on there. Maybe I'll do 24 karat rough. It's fun to experiment and see what these differences in appearance look like. Ooh, platinum looks nice too. I like that. Okay, let's say that that's the render that I wish to go with. A few other details that you might be interested in, right? We can come over to environment and we can add some features like ground shadows and reflections. So we can change this, the size of our environment, change the height of the environment and the rotation. I think the rotation has the biggest impact. Uh, we've got a little ground reflection going on now, which is kind of fun. And then uh, we can also say light manager and we can adjust the contrast of things. So you can see a difference there, and I think brightness has a big impact too, right? If you turn it all the way up, that seems like we're in a really bright place, like heaven or something, and then it goes completely dark. So we have a wide range of uh, brightnesses to choose from as well. So let's go ahead and render this image. You can adjust your resolution here. I think this is fine. So there's our rendered image. It has a good transparency behind it with just a little ground on there. Uh, I think that's really cool. So Keyshot is a fun and easy way to make really cool images of things. Hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to the Libre channel and we'll see you in the next one.